what's going on guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back today we're finally going to end this beautiful story i've been told about world war ii band of brothers the airborne division <clears throat> last episode was a bit hard to get through um a lot of you guys came on to that video and you know your comments and, and and stuff like that and i really do appreciate it man um it was it was a tough episode to get through you know i would think for anybody because of what we were seeing you know you know we think we think sometimes you know evil thoughts but the people you know and Please don't even go there to think you're they're always thinking happy thoughts. Like I'm I'm one of the most nonviolent person in the world. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I've got into probably what two fights my whole life, I, I think. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they probably wasn't even really fight. I think it was one legitimate fight when I was like in in um in military school. That, that that's it. You know what I'm saying? Um yeah, one one fight, <laughs> you know, so I'm the most, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm very nonviolent. Like, I, 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 I would rather talk stuff out than fight, like throw fist. And not, not that I can't throw a fist because I can, you know, but I just it, I just feel like, you know, people should use your words, you know, let's talk it out. Let's come to an understanding. I'm a person who, you know, I think I'm a pretty reasonable person. That anybody could reason with, you know, so uh, there's no need for, you know, for us to go there, guns drawn and everything like that. But, you know, so don't don't sit here, and make it seem like, you know what I'm saying? You've never thought of doing things. You know what I'm saying? Like I have thought of doing things like violent things, not to the not the to the hitler extent you know what i'm saying because that's really my point here is to say that you know none of us we, you, i don't i don't want to say none of us because they are psychopaths out there that are that are actually thinking of doing these things oppressing a a, a, a race for just being them you know what i'm saying like it is it's it's in certain aspects it's unfathomable is you know what i'm saying so it's like you're looking at it and you're like, how could you possibly think of that? You know what I'm saying? Like, where does your brain go? You know what I'm saying? Like, so there are people who are extremely violent out there. There are people who, you know what I'm saying? They think of these evil stuff to do to people, man. And you saw that firsthand. The Holocaust is is one of those things, man, where when I look at it and I'm like, man. So many years that the Jew, the Jews was, you know, enslaved by the Egyptians, and then they come again having to deal with another guy. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? It's, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So a lot of times when I look at that, it's like, man, for you to hate somebody just because of who they are. Just because of who they are. You hate them just because of who they are, man. Like, that's another level. That is another level of evil and just uh, um, a misconception of of life <laughs> itself. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're just seeing things and you're like, man, hey, you're you're ugly. I don't like you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like, you got people that come into your life that, you know, they give off a, a certain kind of energy. And you'll be like, I don't think I'm ever going to be friends with this person. You know what I'm saying? Like, but you don't hate them. Is it? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not a level of hate off bat. But people do see, you know, people of a certain race, with, you know, Jewish people, Asian people, black people, white people. You know what I'm saying? Like, and just hate them. Because, you know, just because of who they are or what their ancestors have done. Like, you know, like, you know, how black people do that. 
with white people it's like that oh your people enslaved us so we hate all of y'all <laughs> you know what i mean so i'm not for that man i'm not for that but it was definitely a hard episode to get through and today we are watching the final episode and hopefully i can get this up for you guys tonight i am still busy guys i am still busy i know the pacific is next already i'm ready to watch it so the next thing that i put out after this will be the pacific it will be replacing band of brothers because you guys have said i have to watch the pacific if i watch band of brothers okay so we're gonna jump into this and i will see you guys right back here for the review okay so band of brothers episode 10 just finished the series man this series was as you know as i said at the ending there a roller coaster a roller coaster of emotions and it for what it's worth it was well done it was well done and i have to say this has to go up there as one of my favorite reenactments of anything <laughs> you know what i'm saying like they really brought it out man um Definitely almost cried a couple of times seeing certain stuff, especially episode nine, you know, um, was really touching. They really did a good job of showing the pain and uh, the the absolute terror, you know what I'm saying, and the level of evil, you know, they did a great job of that in episode nine. So overall band of brothers is definitely a 10 out of 10 for me and i'm gonna tell you guys why it's a 10 out of 10 for me as an overall review right it's a 10 out of 10 because cinematography the acting the soundtrack the, you know the ost brilliant and when i say brilliant brilliant the gun sounds, the war sounds, the uh, as I said, the cinematography, the, the camera angles, everything worked. They made sure this thing was not, like, just thrown to the side. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like, we're just throwing something up on screen to show this and make some money hopefully all the proceeds from this were like donated to some veterans or something like that hopefully you guys can let me know if that happened um you know of course hbo showed it so i you know hbo does get a percentage and that's fine but hopefully they made some sort of donation from the revenue that they made from the show to um to some veteran needs or something because there's too many veterans in this country then from what i've noticed some that i've talked to um that you know between ptsd and all this other stuff that they suffer from homelessness you know i would think that you know that they would make a donation of some sorts you know what i'm saying doesn't necessarily have to be money but you know Donate to a charity that supports veterans. Some something, you know what I'm saying. But you guys must know that some of something that happened. I'm guessing that something happened. I don't know for sure, but I'm hoping that something like that happened because, to me, I couldn't do something like this and not reciprocate like that. That's just me, my opinion. You know what I'm saying. So, um, so definitely, man. And knowing. I don't know Tom Hanks personally, but from the person that he that he's portrayed as, you know, and people talk about who he is, and from interviews where I see people talk about him, seems like a genuinely good person, right? Um, so I've never had a problem with Tom Hanks. So I would think that Tom Hanks is the type of person that would insist on them doing something like that. So him being an EP on this project. So I am honored to sit down and be able to see something like this because I, lo I love reenactments of history i do i do like seeing it um i don't know i've even thought about going to like a renaissance fair where you know where they reenact like the 
like the civil war and stuff like that like i would love to be a part of something like that to be honest i'm adventurous like that don't don't judge me by the color of my skin okay <laughs> okay i'm just I, i'm i'm different i'm just different i just like to enjoy stuff man and just try new things how else are you going you, you know what i'm saying like you want to die and you just know for that same old boring person that never did anything <laughs> you know what i'm saying so off lately like probably around i want to say probably about five years ago i made a conscious decision to start doing things that i wouldn't normally think is fun i just and i've just developed the appetite for it so that's all that is we all need to try new things but anyways when it comes on to this show man it the cinematography was great as i said you can see the stuff the difference between um, cause I've watched so many TV shows and by now you guys should know, you know, when, when films are using green screen versus shooting on site, like a lot of Game of Thrones stuff was, sh was shot on site, but when they're using green screen, a lot of times it's pretty, it's pretty obvious. Don't, don't get me wrong. The special effects in, in, in the game, in, in Game of Thrones was absolutely off the chain, off the chain, like talking about high production high budget production too you know what i'm saying so they made sure no mistakes were made except for the starbucks cup <laughs> anyways but band of brothers man they really brought it um as i said man the sound the cin the, cin the, the cinematography <laughs> right was on point and that's why i give it a 10 out of 10 um, because, and, and then the acting, man, I can't, rem I don't think I've necessarily seen the only thing I didn't like, <laughs> if I should be a nitpicker here, um, Sobel, <laughs> as I said, David Schremer is just one of those actors that I cannot take serious. Every, I didn't even like him in Friends. Like, in Friends, like, I didn't even like his character because he's, he, he was such a simp. He's not an alpha. He never played an alpha. He's never played an alpha in anything that he did. So it was like me seeing him, like, all I can do is just laugh at him because he's he's played, he has played a beta male in everything that he's ever done in his career. He's always been a beta male. So it's like, for me... It's just like see him in that position. I just can't take him serious because all I think about is just him just running after Rachel everywhere in Friends. That's all I can think about when I see him because he's he's one of those actors that's like he's a, even though you don't want to put actors in a box, he puts himself in a box. So it's hard to take him serious even in a serious role like this. You know what I'm saying? And they've still made made him the butt of a joke. They still turn him into a joke in this show. You know what I'm saying? He played like they didn't even mention, you know what I'm saying? They didn't even mention anything like what happened with him. Yes, he became a captain, but it's basically like he's not for the combat. I'm not trying to say that the actual Sobel in real life was, you know what I'm saying? Like he didn't achieve anything or whatever. He still was an officer. He just didn't. He couldn't handle combat. He probably wanted to do it, but he's just not cut out for that. He made too many mistakes, would have got too many people killed. So we couldn't have that. You know what I'm saying? So, and it's just that he gets super nervous. You know what I'm saying? So maybe he, obviously he excelled in other areas because, you know what I'm saying? He kept getting bumped up and ranked. So obviously obviously it went well for him um so great stuff man um the relationship between america and german at the end i i did like that they showed that they showed that there was a mutual respect that happened when the war when they when they actually surrendered there was a there was a mutual respect you know that happened you know which probably if this was supposed to be like propaganda or something like that you know they probably wouldn't have showed that 
maybe if that was being filmed today, they probably wouldn't even show it. I'm going to be honest with you guys because the way our films are being made this day, I really don't like it because there's too much agenda. It's not just about showing something. It's always about there's always this underlining weird message that I want that I don't want to see that that I don't need to see when if I'm going to pay 12 15 20 dollars to go see a movie you get what I'm saying like there's just these underlying messages like that I don't want to see I don't want to hear about when I go to the movies I don't pay my money to go here you give me a message about this I can read about that stuff in the news you get what I'm saying? Like, it, you know, it's already everywhere. Talk shows talk about it. it. You know, people on YouTube talk about it. Like, I don't need to see that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm going to pay that kind of money to go see a movie, I don't want to see that in my movie. I don't want to see those kind of messages in my movie. Yes, I don't mind you having, um, you know, your gay characters, strong female characters and all of this other stuff. I don't mind it. Don't, but don't make it the movie about it. You get what I'm saying? Like, yes, this person is there and they happen to be gay. I can deal with that. You know what I'm saying? But if there's an agenda being pushed by having that gay character in the show, then I'm going to be like, okay, this is a bit too much. You know what I'm saying? Like how they, you know, like how they're trying to do so many um, redo so many of our favorite shows and, and TV shows and movies. And they're trying to, you know, if it was like mostly male, they're trying to change it into just all female now. Like, you know, that's why you have like things like Ghostbusters, the last one flopping, right? You have, now they want to have a female James Bond. Now they want to have all this other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, not to say I wouldn't want to see it, but, you know, when when your promotion is all about, oh, it's time for a, a female James Bond. It just didn't happen naturally. Like, let it happen naturally. Let James Bond pass the torch. You didn't have to announce it and let everybody know, oh, we're going to have a female James Bond now. Uh, is it, I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? You know, and I don't have no problem supporting stuff if, it, you know, pe they're acting like strong female characters was never in movies before. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just stuff like that that just, it, you know what really grinds my gears? <laughs> but anyways, man. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching me react to this show, man. It's been an awesome ride. So shout out to all of y'all that voted this when I put out the... um the poll when you guys voted band of brothers is next you guys did an awesome job on that man um and i enjoyed it thoroughly yet we have yet to come upon a show that you guys have suggested that uh you know that i don't like that i don't like or i can't get into it you know what i'm saying i've always given everything a fair chance and then i have something to say after so and you guys have not steered me wrong yet so we're still here. Remember, the, the Pacific is next. So we're going to be watching the Marines account of World War II. That what happened when they when they landed on Mo Normandy. You know what I'm saying? So I'm guessing this is going to be more on the front lines of the beach. I think that's where the Marines landed. I think when they came up, came in on the on the um on the boats and stuff like I think that's what we're going to probably see at <laughs> you know, and then what they did after. So we, we, so I think that's where the Marines landed. I'm not sure, but I'm just guessing because I know that was part of it where, you know, they came in on boats. They were artillery was hitting them in the water and the boats and all that other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So uh, I'm going to prepare myself for that. But anyways, that won't be starting until next week guys um so i usually take a week break anytime i end a series i usually take a week break before i jump into the next one that's a follow-up to it or whatever it's going to take its place i usually take a week so don't expect the pacific to start until next week at some point okay so thank you guys so much for tuning in for these 10 episodes man you guys are awesome 
um, these videos we're doing probably I think it's somewhere around 300 views per upload so it's not so bad um, it's not so bad for you know what I'm saying the people that watch TV shows here so that's actually awesome because I don't think I think other than Game of Thrones this um, other than Game of Thrones and Rome this and Chernobyl because <laughs> Chernobyl did really well and it was only five episodes um, but that's just because I jumped on I kind of jumped on Chernobyl because you guys were suggesting it so much and because it just it literally just eared and I was like okay let me just do this it's only five episodes it's a mini series and I just jumped on it so um, thank you guys for always supporting these videos man leaving comments leaving likes man you guys are awesome so Thank you guys so much once again. Gratitude is never enough. Remember that. It's about to everybody reacts. Leave a like, comment, and share. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Peace.